There's only one, there's only one It's only one, just only one Just love and happiness, beauty and holiness Only one, just only one Just love and our family, serving with righteousness Hey guys, so today's the day <sighs> We're moving, I keep saying we I'm moving today, the house is in shambles it's not, it's not looking good, but it's over. Our time here is over. I've been here since last January, it's now March. Our time has expired. I'm ready to get on up out of here, on a bigger and better. Let's get into the house. Can we get into the house? We can. So this vlog is pretty much gonna be all over the place. I don't know what to tell you. We got some pots and pans in here. I don't even know what's in this bag. I don't know. There's just. There's just stuff all over the place. I have anxiety. So, you know, let's just get to moving. Let's just, let's just, let's just do it. All right, let me show y'all the progress. Let's not act like we ain't been working. Boom, look, empty, ooh, empty. All right, we just have a few things left in here, but we're gonna empty most of it. I wanted to keep a few things because we're not, I'm not moving out for like another day and a half, and I was like, what if I get hungry, but. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm not Queen DoorDash, so what is hungry? <laughs> Just get on the app. This had all my seasonings, like my medicine and stuff. This is empty, looking good, looking good. And then we did a little bit of, hold on. So it doesn't look like we'd made progress in here because this is what the office should have looked like this whole time. But this place was full of PR packages. You guys, it wasn't good. Not a bra on the floor. My bra, not a pad on the floor. Okay. It was like full of PR packages and just boxes of hair and empty boxes that I didn't throw away yet. So there's progress in the name of Jesus in this room. So, but still it's like so much stuff left. I hate moving. Zero out of 10 stars. Zero out of 10. The amount of times I say zero out of 10 stars in this video, Prepare to be sick of me. We're still trying to figure out this situation. I have a maintenance guy coming to the house tomorrow to kind of give me the tea. Jonathan, he's gonna um, put like the, whatever it's called in the holes. So hopefully they won't charge me for that, but I don't, I know I'm getting charged for that yacht. I know it. So I'm preparing my heart for that because that's for sure coming out of my pocket. So I do have like a few boxes, but I just feel like things fit better in a plastic bag and it's just easier to throw them in there. So right now I'm just throwing everything in a plastic bag. So now that my room is a little more cleared out, I'm just gonna throw all of my bed sheets and like all that stuff into a plastic bag just so it can seem like I'm making some type of progress because it's really not feeling that way. So that's what we gonna do, okay? These garbage bags, I honestly could probably fit in here. And now I have to test it out. Look how big these garbage bags are. Wow. <laughs> She's in her bag, period. What? These smell pretty good. All right, I need to stop playing around because if my fiance comes and I haven't finished this, he's just gonna be very confused.
You're painting with a twist. <laughs> Not exactly. But, painting um, with a twist. This is our date night. Painting with a twist. Well, even though it's still chunky, it looks better than what it did <laughs> 10 minutes ago. All right, guys, so we are on day two for you, but like four for us of packing. Not much progress has gone on. Um, a little bit earlier, I don't know if I, I think I was recording. We tried to patch up these holes in the wall. Guys, at this point, just send me the bill. How much is gonna cost? Hmm? Hmm, just send me the bill. You guys. All right, we're just gonna say this now. If you're renting, don't put holes in a wall. It's not worth it. I know it looks cute in the moment, but a year later when your lease is up, this is what you have to deal with, okay? Just send me the bill. But anyways, Jonathan just left to get a haircut and I was like, you know what? It would be nice if this whole counter was cleaned off when he came back because honestly, he's been working so hard. It's giving husband. It's really giving husband. He's been unscrewing things. Like, I mean, he's doing what a man is supposed to do, but it's just so like, <sighs> it's very attractive, okay? It's very attractive. Um, 86 more days before I can thank him the way I want to. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, I'm gonna try to get this cleaned off, put these in boxes and do all this so when he comes back that he can be proud of me the way I'm proud of him. So we're gonna, we're gonna time lapse that. I think I can do it. I have maybe 30 minutes, maybe 45. I think I can do it. Alright you guys, so the kitchen, ooh, besides the pantry, which I'm about to do, the kitchen looks pretty good. Oh, we're looking good, you guys. Oh, it's finally looking like I'm moving out. And I did it all before my man came back. I can't wait to show him. Alright, let's do some more. What else can we do? I'm gonna go ahead and empty this out now. Alright, let's just keep moving. It was a good idea at the time. Oh my God. Let me, I'm gonna try one. <laughs> I don't even know why I got these because these are so immature. Oh, they feel real stuck to the right, wall. I'm telling you. Like, oh no, babe. Nothing was stuck like that. Oh, this one, okay. This one sounds good. Yeah, I think you might have got it. Oh, mm, no, mm. That, one, that one don't sound good. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All three. Yeah, I look, I wasn't coming in here expecting to do better. Okay, PSA again. I know I said this earlier, but if you are renting anywhere, it's not worth it, bro. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> I did it. All right, guys, it's 12.52 a.m. We have 
some progress done kind of i mean it it looks good it just for some reason it just still looks the same to me we've done a lot. depending on the angle but yeah we've done a lot of things that like were in cabinets that's why you can't really see and then we put a lot of this stuff in this room because we're just gonna have the people who are helping us just come in the front room easy access out and there's a few boxes over there so how do you think we did today babe I think we did great. Jess is disappointed. I'm encouraged. I'm not disappointed. I'm tired. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. And then we have to wake up early to do the empty house tour. Because I want to do it before we move everything in. So we're just going to close out tonight's moving vlog. And then tomorrow is the big day. Tomorrow, everything's everything must go. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, y'all. So Jonathan and I just went to go pick up our U-Haul truck that I reserved two days ago. So we go to pick it up and the guy's like, oh, okay, it's not in the parking lot yet. Let me call the lady who has it. So she, she was supposed to bring it back at 12 and my reservation was at 12. So he calls her on speaker and he's like, hey, you needed to bring the truck back at 12. You know, like, what's up? She's like, oh yeah, we need it for another day. He goes, okay, have a good day, and hangs up. So I'm, I'm silent, and Jonathan goes, why did you do that? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I said, this, this is, so are there, are there other trucks available? Right. And he goes, no. And I'm like, so why did you tell them that, that it's okay? That, that it's okay, why didn't you ask them to bring the truck back? And he Ooh, goes, this part. And he goes, why would I do that? I'm like, bro. <laughs> and at that point, Jess like walks out the same I said, thank you. Have a good day. I let, as soon as he said, why did I do that? Why would I do that? I walked up. I was out because. Cause I, like, he could have just asked them like, oh no, like we need you to bring it back because there's somebody like there's somebody else here that reserved it. But he didn't say any of that. He didn't say any of that. He didn't say, hold on, let me call another U-Haul to see if I can get y'all another truck. I'm so sorry about the inconvenience. Did he hear when he said, I can't force them to come yeah, back? Yeah, he's like, well, yeah, after he said, why would you, well, I can't force them to come back. I didn't, I'm not they asking at least say like, it's a, it's a, it's something, something to help the people who are standing in front of you who made a reservation, who now have no truck. Oh man, that, oh man, I was hot. But then another nice, another we called another nice guy. Yeah, he helped us a he lot. And he really helped us out and helped find us another truck. He really did. He really but, did. So, you know, we still were on our way to get the other truck, but that was probably the worst customer service I've ever been in front yeah, yeah, of. Yeah. Like that was so rude, and he just looked at you like I don't care about you. Get out of my store. That's the look he was giving. Oh Lord, have mercy. That was ugly. Anyways, we're gonna go get the next truck now. Hopefully there's better luck there. The guy who helped us is really nice. And let me tell you, we both woke up around like seven this morning. It's 12.30 now, we haven't eaten, we've been working, and our tempers. <laughs> Jonathan, I think, pretty, Jonathan cool. I think we're pretty cool. Jonathan though. did pretty good. I was so upset. I, I've never I, I don't think I've ever actually, cause I could see it. And usually Jonathan's really nice, like, oh, okay, I mean, that's no problem, thank you. But nah, he was like, why did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh. Bro, this is serious. That's what to do. <laughs> but it's gonna be fine. So we're on our way to the next truck place now. All right, guys, we finally got the truck. Jonathan's behind me somewhere driving the truck to the apartment. It's two o'clock now. Two o'clock. We still haven't eaten anything. We're getting on each other's nerves on accident. <laughs> I'm tired. I really am. I'm just kind of. We haven't. We honestly, we haven't even started yet. But I'm hoping the rest of the day goes rather smoothly. I mean, it's two, okay, it's like 2.15 now and we have to bring the truck back by 6.45. That doesn't leave us a lot of time to do everything we need to do, especially since where I'm moving is about 30 minutes away. So uh, there and back is already an hour. God forbid we have to go there and back twice. Zero stars, zero, zero stars. Here's the truck, y'all, there she go, finally. And while the boys work, I'm gonna eat, okay? Because <laughs> baby, I deserve, okay? Yee -dee -dee. See, it's giving healthy, it's giving a healthy queen of God, okay? Come on. Amen. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, that hurts every time. 
All right, it's time to work, so I gotta put these in sport mode. Put it in sport. There we go. All right, update. Looking good. Got some things out here. And then my friends are working so hard for me down there. Look at my friends. So here's, here's my moving crew. They did a really good job. Good morning, you guys, from my new house, um, our new house. It's so hard to think about R because he's like he's not here. But anyways, I just woke up. Today is Monday, March 7th. It's my last day in my apartment. Like I have to go back there and clean everything out. All the furniture is gone, but like the bathroom needs to be clean, the floor needs to be swept, the kitchen needs to be cleaned out, like the oven, the fridge and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go back and do that and I have to figure out the whole like wall situation. Oh my gosh. But yeah, the first night sleeping in here was a little scary. I'm like, okay, this feels way different than sleeping in my apartment alone, especially since we don't have any blinds in this house. Like every window is wide open. I'm just, I'm a little paranoid, but it just feels so weird to wake up and like be in a house. Like I, I own a home. <laughs> She's that girl, she really is. So yeah, I'm gonna, Head on over to the apartment, finish all that, close it out, give them back the keys. Hopefully I get some of my security deposit back. And we just close that chapter and we move on to making this place our home. All right guys, so here is the apartment progress. Everything's pretty much gone. Closet emptied out well, for the most part. I have to clean this bathroom, but it's empty. Gotta clean that mirror. This is what the living room looks like, emptied out. Still some things I need to throw away. Um, I honestly, at this point, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna go to jail because what's happening here, just, here's my wrist, officer, cuff me, because yeah, we're for sure going to jail for this. Not good, but I do have a sander. So yeah, I just need to sweep, clean the bathrooms, clean the kitchen, and then it's goodbye. All right, let's do this. Baby, 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 baby. You driving me wild, you driving me so crazy. Got me acting out, got me trying to stay sober. Got me trying to stay sober. One of your love and I'm out here hungover. Take you to London, Paris Make some Times for cherish Maybe this No comparing to you Don't need Keisha caring Don't want Meg and sharing Girl, I swear that It ain't fair It ain't fair that
only one